Are you ready to perform this quick upper body bodyweight workout? Well, it's not gonna be easy. If you're up to the challenge, then keep watching my friend because we're gonna dive into it right now. Crew members, welcome back to the channel, friends. How are you doing today? If this is your first time here on this channel, though, make sure to subscribe to the channel now and turn on post notifications because if you want to discover what your own body weight is truly capable of achieving, then you've come to the right place. So make sure you hit that button and turn on that bell so you don't miss a single video. So this upper body workout is gonna consist of six exercises and it's gonna be condensed into three paired sets. So two exercises in each paired set. And how a paired set works is that you'll perform one exercise, rest for a certain amount of time, then perform the second half of the paired set, which will be the second exercise, and then rest before going back to the first exercise. This has been explained in previous videos and will also be highlighted you know, in the coming stages of this video right now. So you know, I'm gonna quit the jibber jam and just get right into the workout for you right now. So the first pairing is vertical dominant exercise and it's going to be vertical pushing and vertical pulling and for vertical pushing we're going to do deep pike push-ups because not only is the pike push-up such a great way to build extreme and powerful shoulders and triceps by extending and increasing the range of motion we're also not only going to increase the intensity of the exercise but we're also going to actually you know further improve the mobility in our shoulders both through flexion and particularly shoulder extension so this exercise is going to be a big big bang for your buck so with your shoulders over your wrists and your hips up nice and high to remain as vertical as possible to load the shoulders as much as possible and with your hands placed you know, on an elevated surface, such as what I'm going to be demonstrating in this video, which will be parallettes. We're simply going to lower down control, keeping the elbows tucked in by our sides, allowing the head to go far past our hands. And once we've reached a bottom range of motion, without letting the shoulders round forward, we're going to press up forcefully back into starting position, and then simply repeat from repetitions. And the level of elevation is going to determine the intensity of the exercise. So if you want to make this exercise easier, you can keep your feet on the floor, but simply elevate the hands to a higher incline so that you're pressing less of your body weight so that the reduced resistance will allow you to keep up with the intensity of the exercise. And then from there, you can simply work back down to you know doing deep pipe push-ups on the floor. And then to further load this exercise and increase the intensity, you can elevate your feet so you're performing deep elevated pipe push-ups. Next up, we're going to do with the second part of this ped set, we're going to do a pulling exercise, which is pause chin up. So we're gonna start with you know hanging from a bar, hands shoulder width apart, and our palms supinated, so well, our hands and our palms are facing towards us. From here, we're going to pull up forcefully, like we're trying to elbow someone behind us. Pause at the peak contraction and hold the isometric contraction for a second or two. Lower down with control until your elbows are fully straight and then repeat for repetitions. You know, of course, vertical pulling with your body weight is not easy, particularly at start. And you know, if I could go back and give myself just one exercise to help this, I would simply, you know, perform my chin-ups and pull-ups with assistance. So if you're struggling with unassisted chin-ups, you can simply perform assisted chin-ups, where you'll place your feet on the floor or, you know, on a chair, wherever in which you can provide assistance from your legs, while still getting the full range of motion of the exercise to, to get the best gains from the exercise itself. And from there, you can go back to the pause chin-ups without assistance, and then to further increase the intensity of the exercise, you can actually perform mixed grip chin-ups, which is simply where, instead of an even distribution, pulling evenly on both sides, you purposely lean your body weight and pull predominantly on one side to increase the intensity of the exercise. This is actually a great exercise to prep for the one arm chin up, which I'm sure is a goal for most of you, which you know, you can most certainly do. And so once we've done the first pairing, we're going to do the second pairing of horizontal pushing and pulling. And starting with pushing, we're going to do straddle suedo planche push-ups. And so if you're an OG on this channel, you've probably seen the suedo planche push-up a few times on this channel already, but here we're going to have our legs wider because when we have our legs wider, what we can actually do as we're increasing the base of support is that we can actually you know, manipulate the stimulus a bit because as we have a larger base of support, we can actually lean forward to a larger extent to further load and build the chest, shoulders, and triceps. But again, just a small lean forward from your shoulders relative to your wrist makes the exercise extremely more challenging. So if you're struggling with that start, simply perform regular push-ups with your feet in a straddle position. And then when I'm always asked, you know, well, Jake, what's the next step? Well, just keep leaning forward, my friend. Just keep leaning forward and forward and forward. And paired with this, we're going to do wide body rows. So as you place yourself 
beneath the bar, or as I'm demonstrating here, rings. What we're gonna do with a pronated grip, so palms facing away from us, we're going to actually use a position where our hands are just wider than shoulder width apart to stimulate more of the upper back muscles. And like with the chin-ups, we're gonna pull back forcefully like we're trying to elbow someone behind us, come down with control, and repeat for repetitions. Like with the pipe push-ups, you can actually manipulate your body weight to scale the intensity of the exercise. So to make it easier, you perform incline rows where you're handling less of your body weight. And then to make the exercise harder, you perform decline rows where you're handling more of your body weight. And if you want to see a full tutorial on the body weight row itself, then you can check out the card here. I already have a video specifically for you, my friend. Now, the third and last pairing we're going to do is a bit of straight arm work. And the pushing dominant exercise we're gonna do is an L-sit progression. And the first exercise I'm gonna demonstrate with you is the tucked L-sit hold. And so as we forcefully press away from us to keep the scapula fully depressed and protracted, we're going to actually have our legs bent and nicely tucked towards our stomach and our chest whilst maintaining deep rhythmic breathing. And boy, those triceps are gonna be burning hard, my friend. And to make this exercise easier, you can perform a supported L-sit where your legs and your feet are in contact with the ground, but to make the exercise harder, you simply raise your legs up so that your feet and your legs aren't on the ground. And last but not least, once we've done that, we've given ourselves the required rest that we need, we're gonna perform scapula pulls. And this is great for really strengthening the lower traps, which is so important, not only for the bodyweight athlete, but for you know, general strength, shoulder stability, but it's so commonly neglected. So we start in a dead hang, shoulder width apart, palms pronated, so facing away from us, and then whilst keeping the elbows straight throughout, we're gonna pull back with the lower traps, almost like we're visually thinking of pushing something away from us on the bar. And once we reach the top of the position, we're gonna lower back with control and repeat for repetitions. And again, body weight training is some maximal load, so it's all about leverage. If you wanna make the exercise easier, you simply don't pull as high, so a great exercise for this is scapular retractions. And then to make the exercise harder, not only can you actually pull higher, you can actually perform what's known as an arch in pull-in. So you perform your scapular pull up, and then you raise your legs up, almost like a hanging knee raise, and then come back down with control. Not only is this a great way to build the lower traps and the lats, it's a great progression to build dynamic strength for front lever. And so, as that's all the exercise covered in terms of the exercise selection, the sets, the reps, the rep tempo, the rest time, all that good stuff, that is gonna vary from person to person. But you know, as a good rule of thumb, I'll just leave a template of what one workout based on the exercise provided will or could look like for you. And hang on, my battery's about to die, so I'm gonna get that sword and I'll be right back to you. All right, re-rolling, sweet. So, you know, with that said, if you like this video, you enjoyed my content, you enjoyed watching every single minute and every single second of this video, then make sure to give this video, smash that like button, and then comment down below that this video came a good hand to you. And before you go, I just want to mention and make sure you're aware that for this summer, there are some spots available for my online coaching program, The Bodyweight Transformation Blueprint, where I guide you one-on-one -on -one to get in the best shape of your life over the next 12 weeks without, you know, having to go to an overcrowded gym if you don't want to. And so with that said, if you are serious, you're motivated, and you are highly driven, then I would love to work with you. So if that tickles your fancy, you can simply click the link down below in the description now to apply for the program. And if we are a good fit together, then you know, who knows in the coming days, we may be official teammates, which would be pretty damn awesome. So yeah, I look forward to seeing you on the other side, my friend, and I will catch you in the near future.